Hey, what's up? It's Zach, and this is your weekly devotion. This week, I have something for us from 1 Kings 17, and it's about Elijah and the widow. And Elijah had been camping out near a brook, and God had been providing food for him during a drought while he was hiding from some people who wanted to kill him. Well, the drought continued, and the brook dried up, and the food stopped, so the Lord told him to go to a place where he had prepared someone to take care of him. So he goes to the place and he searches out this widow that God had told him about. But the widow uh, says that she can't help him. And that's where we pick this up. It's Again, it's 1 Kings chapter 17 and verses 12 through 16. And it says, But she said, I swear by the Lord your God that I don't have a single piece of bread in the house. And I have only a handful of flour left in the jar and a little cooking oil in the bottom of the jug. I was just gathering a few sticks to cook this last meal, and then my son and I will die. But Elijah said to her, Don't be afraid. Go ahead and do just what you've said, but make a little bread for me first. Then use what's left to prepare a meal for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. There will always be flour and olive oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops grow again. So she did as Elijah said, and she and Elijah and her family continued to eat for many days. There was always enough flour and olive oil left in the containers, just as the Lord had promised. And uh, there's just a little tiny part in here that really, uh, where I want to draw my point from, in this verse 16, it says, There was always enough flour and olive oil left in the containers. It doesn't say that the olive oil and flour was running over in abundance. There was always just enough for them to get by. And it was there when they needed it. And how often do we pray for blessings, yet we get frustrated when it seems like we're never actually getting ahead, but we always have just enough. Since when did did having just enough become a negative thing? You know, it's part of our American culture to want more. It's part of human nature to want more and more and more. But how special is it that we don't have to worry about those things? We have to do our due diligence, of course. But God will always provide for us. God will always take care of us. And it might not be in the ways that we think it should be. But when we go to the jar, it's never empty. And we always have just enough. I hear the phrase, count your blessings, ringing in my head over and over. And again, being a Christian doesn't mean we are going to be blessed with riches beyond our wildest dreams. But God does want to bless us. But sometimes that blessing is hidden in the simple fact that we have provision, that we aren't starving. We might not, we, we might not have all of our bills paid off, but we have enough every week to pay what we need to pay. We might not have an overabundance of food, but we have enough to live and to get by. And we need to learn to appreciate God, and we need to learn to appreciate God's provision, even when it seems like the jar is emptied every time we go to it. Um, And so this is the challenge I put for you today. Uh, Learn to love simple provision, because it's a miracle, just the same as some kind of great um, outpouring of God's blessing in financial means or in uh, physical means. Um, recognize, recognize God's blessings and His provisions every single day in the little things. Recognize His provision every time you put on an article of clothing, every time you step into your house, you step into your car, every time you put food on a plate. Thank God for His provision. And that's, that's the challenge. To be appreciative of the jar never being empty. It might not be overflowing, but it's never empty. And to me, that's a fantastic miracle. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. And if you would, please like and share this video. That helps me out and helps get this uh, message out. Again, God bless you. Thanks so much for your support. And I pray for every one of you all the time. Love you. Bye. If you like that devotion and that video, feel free to click right here and right here for a few more videos that I think you might enjoy. Go ahead, click right there and right here. Thanks.